It's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Mark from the States. How we doing today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Thank you for coming back. Today we're going to look at the history of Speaker's Corner. It is unique to Britain. Now, here's the thing. Every place had something similar, I would think. Any place that had some freedom of speech, for that matter. But Speaker's Corner in your part of the world, that's the OG, as the kids would say. And I'm not even sure the kids would even say that. But let's just, for the sake of argument, just agree that they would say that. Uh, so I'm excited to see this. I've heard so much about it. You've seen it in films. You've seen it in uh, all kinds of things, right? So Speaker's Corner, the history of, it's good. our good buddy, History Lord. He is not my buddy, but I'd like to be his buddy. Um, we've learned a lot from his videos, so very, very cool. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, Leo's still kind of sleeping over here on the side, so... I'm not going to bother him, but let's get into it. Speaker's Corner. Welcome to the History Lord. You join us here and we're once again in the lovely Hyde Park. And just behind me over there is the Animals in War Memorial. Uh, we did a video about that um, oh, some time ago. And I think, James, if you're so kind, you can put a link just up in the corner there. Thank Today, you, we are talking about what James has just shown you, and that's Speaker's Corner. So think of freedom of speech. Most people do think of uh, a Sunday morning here with lots of debates, some uh, nicely contested, some hotly contested. But this is Speaker's Corner, and here is its story. Before we continue, I just want to say, please go and support the History Lord and his channel. Go down the rabbit hole on his his deal. He's got so many videos and they're very interesting. We could do basically just, you know, learning from his stuff, you know, uh, pretty much just by, he's got well over 200 videos. So there's just a lot of it. So yes, please go and support his channel and then come back and watch it with me. And, uh, yeah, you know, you know, you know the drill. So do it, do it. I command you do it. Welcome to London. Since the mid-1800s, Speaker's Corner has become the traditional site for public speeches and debates, and also protests and demonstrations that took place in Hyde Park. Speaker's Corner nowadays is located on the northeast edge of Hyde Park, and the nearest tube station is Marble Arch. And you'll find it quite near the junction of Park Lane and Oxford Street. Figures such as Karl Marx, Lenin and George Orwell were often known to use this to demonstrate free speech. It was in 1872, an act of parliament set aside this part of Hyde Park for public speaking. And even today, on Sunday mornings, it's not unusual to find crowds gathered at Speaker's Corner to listen enthusiastically to debates. Whether or not they agree or not is uh, entirely up to them. Now, anyone can turn up unannounced and speak on any subject as long as the police consider their speeches are lawful and not insightful. It was close to this spot about 250 years ago, that people were still being hanged at the Tyburn Tree Gallows. There was another video about that elsewhere on the channel. Everyone who was condemned to die at Tyburn could make a final speech. Some confessed, others protested innocence, some criticised the authorities and government of the day. For the onlookers at the executions, the Tyburn Tree was a big social event. In fact, tickets were sold to watch the executions, and you could even sit in a grandstand, a huge wooden platform that was there for richer people to watch the hangings. Eventually, the authorities decided the crowds at these executions were too rowdy, and they were transferred to Newgate Prison, becoming non-public spectacles in around about 1850. But the tradition of protest at Hyde Park continues to this day. The origins of the Speaker's Corner, as we know it today, stem from around 1866, when a meeting of the Reform League demanded the extension of the franchise that was suppressed by the government. There were marches and protests, and long had they convened or terminated at Hyde Park. 
usually at Speaker's Corner itself. At one demonstration, finding the park locked, demonstrators tore up hundreds and hundreds of yards of railing to gain access, and there was a three-day riot that followed. A few years later, that led to the Parks Regulations Act of 1872, and the right to meet and speak freely in Hyde Park was established through a series of regulations. The speaking area for Hyde Park, as defined in legislation, extends far beyond Speaker's Corner, but it's here where most people congregate. From 1906 to just before the First World War in 1914, the suffragette movement held large and small gatherings in Hyde Park as part of their campaign for the suffrage and votes for women. In 1906, during the summer, they held a meeting every week near to the reformer's tree. And during Women's Day of the 21st of June, 1908, they estimated 250,000 women marched to Hyde Park to hear 20 different speaking platforms. The police banned the Women's Social and Political Union in 1913 from meeting in the park, but suffragettes defiantly continued to do so. In modern times, Speaker's Corner was a huge focus point for a rally in February 2003 against military action in Iraq. They estimate the number of people who marched that day were between one and two million. The wow. speakers that supported that march included the actress Vanessa Redgrave, there were human rights campaigners, including, I believe, Bianca Jagger, uh, former members of parliament, uh, even playwright Harold Pinter uh, turned up to give a speech that day. Since the Act of Parliament in 1872, Speaker's Corner has provided the focal point for everyone to express their views about a wide range of subjects, from everything, including votes for women, world wars, and even Sunday trading has been discussed at Speaker's Corner. Thank you very much for watching today. We do hope you enjoy these videos. And if you do, Thank please you. hit subscribe. And if you want to know when videos are uploaded, there is a notification bell just down below. If you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then in the description below is all about James's YouTube channel, which is called Last Nine Films, or go to historylord.co.uk and see about one of my walking tours of London. Yes, yes, please go to his channel and do all of that. Please, I encourage you. Uh, Speaker's Corner, it, it's iconic, right? Um, nowadays, uh, people are, with the internet, it's probably not as popular, but he does say uh, that uh, they're, they're still going on to this day, which is great. Um, but like I said, with the internet, it's just everybody has a Speaker's Corner in the palm of their hand and Twitter or whatever, and they can just say the most craziest things or the smartest things. So uh, freedom of speech is a wonderful thing, um, although it, it, it can be difficult at some times, you know, but uh, we're better off having it for sure. So thank you, History Lord, for that. That was really cool. I, I, I had no idea that it had gone, you know, it goes that far back, though. I thought it was more of a 20th century uh, thing, not something that started in the 1860s as well. So, very cool. Uh, and I didn't know it was in Hyde Park. And we just did a video of his about the history of Hyde Park. So, yeah, I want to go. I do. I think it's one of those things that, you know, historically you need to actually see. They should have those big old... Uh, pedestals that those people stand on now it looks like they just stand on chairs or whatnot but it would be cool if they brought back those pedestals but anywho very cool hopefully you learned something i did that was really cool so thank you so much hope everybody's happy healthy and safe has any of you here's the question has any of you actually made a speech at speaker's corner I think if I were to go, I would make a speech, whether it would probably be uh, about copyright strikes or something. I don't know why, uh, you know, why uh, apartments, why they're called apartments when they're all stuck together or, uh, you know, why do we drive on parkways and park in driveways? I don't know. Something like that. I hope everybody is going to have a great day today and we'll see you again. Bye. Mark from the States, Mark from the States, it's Mark, and he's from